So let's talk about twists and turns. Um, who uh, who wants to start? Shall we start with the most progress or the least progress or just hop around? Lauren. Uh, okay, I'm, Lauren. I yes. love Lauren. Lauren. Like me. Okay. Yes. What if I don't want to be Okay, we're going to look at you and your beautiful progress, Lauren. Wow. I didn't do wow. much um, this past oh. week. But I think I needed to just take a mental break because I'm actually loving the cables and I think that they do work. And I'm yeah. excited to see what part four has to do because I don't think any of us are anywhere close to what he's going to to do with the with the shawl. So yeah. I have started my cables. Nice. Um, Very nice. And and how how complicated are they? Okay. They're not, not complicated. Not too bad. Okay. It doesn't change direction. So what you do for the one, you always do that throughout. Okay. And I it's 33 rows, so it's not that no. No, not, it's not that long. Though. And won't you just hold yours up again so we can just see how the colors are talking to each other? So you stuck with the multicolor as your accent color, yes. and that's going to be what comes in in those ribbon. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I, I've never doubted my accent color. Oops. Okay. My what did you color. doubt? Um, no, what I did was I didn't read the pattern. <laughs> ah, read the so whole I accent. I actually used my contrast color for my wings instead of my main color. Oh, yeah, I like I'm using my main color for my um, uh, cables. Yes. And <laughs> I actually prefer it. Yeah, Good. I like it. I like Good. it because your, like your shawl isn't so dark then. Yeah. Yes. Because the green is light, nice and light. Very pretty. Exactly. That's yeah. pretty. So, I mean, if I re did redo anything, it would be to swap these two around. Um, not but the I wing, think, but I like it like this. And to me, the, the colors and the patterns, your colors are both quite different. And it's not like one is dominating in that section. No, the so only thing I don't around. the only thing I don't have is like a sharp contrast yeah. between these two. But and that's fine. That is what it is. It, it hides any mistakes. See, it hides mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that looks great, Lauren. Very pretty, Lauren. And, and I, loved, I loved what you said. Um, so Lauren sent me an email and it was along the lines of what I was thinking around um, a lot of us have struggled with this project and maybe it's got something to do with wanting to be in control and know where things are going and feeling uncomfortable to just trust the process and trust the designer and, and go with it. And yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how everything pans out. Mm. Yeah, and I think I'm at that point where I'm back to trusting the process. Indeed. And if I think of last year's one, we we guessed it all along. We knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, you know, we, we kind of knew the shape. We well, and I think the shape is a big one. We knew what yes, the shape we, was, whereas we don't know what yes. the shape is here. We've got no idea what the shape is this year. And I was looking at all his patterns over the weekend and specifically his um, smorgasbord one. And I think there it's not as glaring all the different techniques he's put into it because each technique's a different color. Um, whereas this time, because we're using the same similar colors, we kind of um, are feeling like maybe it doesn't go and maybe this should be different. And um, and I think we do need to trust the master. <laughs> he is <laughs> different in what he does. He does things completely. And that's, and that's why we're knitting it because of yeah. his, because of his, um, his style and his way of doing things. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good. Nice. Good. Um, can I show you mine next, yes. just because I'm at the end of a row and then I can do it. So I have picked up my, my project again and I have embraced the blue. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> so 
uh, my, my main color is the cobalt and then the contrast color is Air Force. Um, and I have gone with a much more subtle silver fox. Yeah, um, looks nicer. Green. So it's nice. going to be very blue gray and mm -hmm. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable yeah. with that. Yeah. Um, I'm on the, the second wing and I knitted the second wedge uh, yesterday evening while I was watching a, um, a webinar and then got to the end of the webinar and the end of the second wedge and realized that I'd knitted the wedge uh, the wrong way. <laughs> so I had to pull oh, that down no. and do it again. No. That's okay. I'm back on, uh, I hope okay. the wedges are, yes, the wedges are, are back on track in the right direction. Um, and, and yeah, I, I'm going to cope with the cables and those will come in, in the air force. Yeah. yeah. That so will look pretty. That yeah, so it's going to be quite, quite. It's um, going to be a blue shawl. It's going to be oh, a blue nice. shawl, that's for sure. Blue yeah. and gray, but, yeah. but that's, that's okay. And I'm just going to, I'm going to roll with it. And, um, and I'm, I think I'm more comfortable with the, um, accent color being more subtle rather than being too in your face because it's yeah, quite yeah. a it's I mean it's an unusual complex um fairly in your face design and so I, I'm happy to turn it down and the cobalt is a very strong color Bridget it's, mm. it's very strong it's very yeah. strong and I don't yeah. think that it can compete with no. with another super strong yeah mm. No, so very I don't know if I'd started more tonally with those two, the cobalt could have been the pop, but yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, very pretty. Yeah, much so better. I think it looks lovely. Mm. Thanks. Very nice. Am I correct in what I heard from a few people that the wing on the one side you knit and the wing on the other side you pull? Yes. yes. How are you finding that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a little annoyed by it because I don't think it would have been that difficult to have made it another knit but anyway what you laughed when when they asked that Belinda <laughs> yeah it was like suddenly you were you were used to going you know right and now you're going to go left it took quite a bit of thinking but yeah. it's a twist and turn so yeah. um I was like okay this is we're gonna go left now it's, okay it's all part yeah. of the process yeah exactly. I think if you're um Knitter who's always knitted garments and pieces. Purling's not a problem. I didn't have a problem purling. It, to me, it was as I quick. But no. I've, up until 2019, I'd never knitted in the round. So for me, everything was flat and in pieces. So I was always purling. So my purling is, is even as my knitting, and I don't have issues with that. But I think if you are somebody who's always knitted in the round or predominantly knitted in the round, purling is a problem. If you go on to, I'll get the details. Um, one of my customers, um, Jane Wagner, she's she knitted hers. So if you haven't done your second wing okay. and you want to knit it, you it's can. on Ravelry. I'll send it to you, Bridget. You can just put mm -hmm. a note. Yeah. Um, and um, maybe she, put a link in the in the Cal group. Yes, and she shows you how to. Uh, she's worked out how to knit the second wing so you don't have to pull yeah because it it's not it it shouldn't be that complicated to no and it, it really wasn't it was from really, the wrong side the brief bits i looked at it was she just didn't break the yarn and then just yeah. obviously reversed all the shaping yeah. but i think for short row shaping and maybe time constraints it was easier for him just to do the pulling yeah um well, it did feel like perhaps it was a little bit lazy to not rewrite the pattern. Yeah. Or to give people yeah. the option and say, if you don't want to pearl it, you can knit yeah. it. But, but yeah, anyway, it, it is what it is. So Belinda, um, can we see what your progress is looking like? Yes, for sure. Um, and then we want to see that little outfit you're wearing. Yes, for later. Okay, so um, I have that done my good. wings. Okay. okay. Oh, it's wow. just so interesting to see because on your one, it's really noticeable that the how the colors interplay. That when you put a, a really um, strong contrast color in, that indigo suddenly almost looks black in relation mm -hmm. to Correct. mustard. 
<clears throat> Correct. Um, I have started the cable on the one side. Very nice. Um, finding the cabling um, an absolute uh, a joy compared to part one, um, <laughs> except that my cable. Like I took, cables. Yes, I like the cables because obviously you can see whether instead of having to go count 16, count eight, count four, count. You, yes, if you get lost, you know where you are and you can always just, you don't have to count endlessly. Um, yeah. So those are actually really nice. Uh, getting the cat, this picking up the stitches at the beginning of the row, I really struggled okay. to get the right number of stitches because it's quite like make one, knit three, then make one, then knit one, make one, knit one, make ah. Um, and so <laughs> I did it three times. Ugh. And then I had a little bit of difficulty on one of the wedges um, where I did a strange thing. Anyway, long story. But um, the, the bottom line is that my cables don't line up which oh, wedges you know my obsessive compulsive oh. tendencies just is really uh, growing yeah. at this point <laughs> so <laughs> um, they're supposed to line up don't match across yeah, each so wedge. you're supposed to have this uh, which one is it uh, this little cable is supposed yeah. to line up with the contrast the color yes. or the accent color um and I'm not really sure what I did wrong. Um, you know, there wasn't, I think that in the instructions on the video, there could have been a bit more emphasis around how do you know you're in the right place? Yeah. Um, <laughs> as opposed to just make sure you've got 157 stitches. Um, yes. So if there's a slight problem with your wedges, yeah. like how do you how do you correct that to, to line it up? But um, the, the curious thing will be, can I get it to match on the other side? Uh -huh. um, because I'm happy that it doesn't line up, but I'm not happy that one side lines up and the other side doesn't. And you, <laughs> you, haven't gone that far. you haven't gone that far. You're not tempted to rip it back to the pickup. No. And adjust that. No. Um, I might, when I do the second, if I do the second one and I get it to line up, I might change my mind and come back why don't you leave those stitches on hold and pick up for the second one to i see could i could the whole... give it a try i could give it a try um so i just i really really struggled so getting the stitches onto the needle the right number of stitches was a victory is obviously a problem i'll think about doing the other one and coming back to this one but i'm enjoying the cables um Awesome. Yeah, I think I, I watched the, the video from last week yeah. <laughs> and I had to, I, I did have a few chuckles because there was a lot of wailing. Um, but uh, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, um, yeah, Stephen West, um, although his personality appears irreverent, he's actually quite different in the way he constructs his pieces. Yeah. And I've always felt that there was always a plan and there was always like 10, 15 years in, he's not going to be random about anything. Um, no. And so I thought, okay, it's called Twist and Turns, and he's said already that he's experimenting, well, not experimenting, but trying new construction processes. So I was like, okay, we, we're just putting it all together in a different process. Yeah. And he's messing with us in the Twist and Turns. We just got to enjoy the fact that we don't actually know, because that's yeah. actually a pleasure, yes. uh, getting pleasure out of not knowing. Yeah. So that was me. Unless you're a control freak. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no names mentioned and no fingers pointed. Obviously. Everyone's innocent, yeah. <laughs> Belinda, what I did with mine, because I also struggled, was um, when you watch the video, he actually does tell you where you need to be at the end of each pickup's repeat. Mm, so mm. where he says that make one eight times. So that make one that knit one, make one eight times should roughly be in the middle of your wedge. Your knit four, make one is over your contrast because that's mm -hmm. your eight stitch, your little cable, your uh, knit one, make one eight times is your big cable. And that must be roughly in the middle. Okay, and so what cool. I did was at, when I got to each point, if I didn't have enough stitches, that's where I made Ah. where I worked into both I cord edges mm. um, and made up my stitches. So I never, I didn't check right at the end. I checked after each repeat, was I in the right place to start the repeat again? Mm. Um, and if you want to, um, Sue, because I know you go, you're sitting here listening, um, put stitch markers. So when yeah. you 
it's knit three, then you start the knit one, make one eight times, put a stitch marker there. So it's easy to go back and count because I lost count and then I would mm. have to rip out the whole repeat and start again. Um, so it just makes it easier to count those stitches um, that you've got the, the right number of stitches that you're not trying to make up stitches at the end. Brilliant. That's great yeah. advice. That, um, so it's sounding a little like Greek to me as well. <laughs> so you're not the only one. Just because I haven't got there, I haven't got there yet either. But it's very helpful to know to pay a bit more attention when we mm. get to that point. Mm. We can always uh, kind of ask for some help on the WhatsApp group um, yeah. and, and pay a little bit more attention to his video. Mm. So Belinda, yeah. thanks for being the- My pleasure. Stitch markers are magical. <laughs> I don't use a paper needle, but I do use stitch markers. Okay, so I'm yeah. not dangerous. There we are. <laughs> and it's very helpful to know that the cables won't line up if you don't do it right. And I would really yeah. like yeah. to line up. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think I mean, good I advice. I'm going to retry even, the other side first. Yeah. When I started the section, um, Sean was home, he was doing admin yesterday, and I said to him, okay, I need to actually now concentrate and be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> so I found a quiet spot when I picked up my stitches, and I'm the type of person I can knit anyway, but I actually picked yeah. up, I needed to concentrate on what was going on when I read that first section, and I did pick up my stitches quite a few times before yeah. I got it right. It's a pressure point, but I think that once you get it right, the cables are like easy. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just constant giving it's that process time and attention. Yeah, really yeah. No, that's helpful. Thanks. Thanks, thanks. Um, Mum, I can see you're in the middle of a row of your blanket, not your twists and turns. But Sue, <laughs> do you want to show us how yours is going? Well, I can't do my twists and turns. I have a commission. Yes. Oh, Anna. there you go. Tell her, Margaret. But you could yeah. show us what it looks, or how far you've got. I can show you how far I've got. Or, um, have, or how far you haven't got, you know. Oh, no, it's, oh, no I don't mean that as a, I just mean that as a, <laughs> I think the colours are beautiful, man. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Margaret. I, colors. It, I'm finding it extremely difficult. Yes. to keep the stitches right and work out where I am. And if I keep going back to it and then thinking, no, I can't do this and chucking it back in the bag. So, yeah, not yes. at the moment. No, I understand. Keep going. I know, because I've got this extremely well-paid commission that I'm doing. Okay. Well, so, yeah. you can argue with that. No. <laughs> it's not a drop of sarcasm there. <laughs> oh, no, it's not one. <laughs> not one. Yeah. But Sue. I'm not going to rise to the bait. Let's go to oh, Sue. <laughs> Let's go to Sue. Sue, how is yours looking? Ooh, oh, wow. oh. The I'm glad I love you the did carrot. the carrot. Oh, I'm glad you did the carrot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sue, how are you feeling about it? Not um, quite as excited as we are. Yeah. Now, now that I, I mean, I really appreciate everybody's input and help and I should have trusted cargo blues <laughs> put together the colors um yeah but it's yeah I'm it. I think I've made a mistake on this wedge I need to just pull that out this last wedge um, Sue was carried the cargo blue suggestion right from the start what? it was yes. I, I went for oh, one okay. of the color you know the color combinations oh okay Okay. from a distance i find it easier to do that sure sure um and and how are you feeling about the combination up close now that you're now that you're knitting it i mean now that you put it in and got going is it still as offensive i don't think so i think when you look <laughs> at, if you look at the great big ball of the carrot you know yeah it's overwhelming it, it's in your face but somehow it's not quite so no yeah, looks Alan's gorgeous. So lovely, beautiful. I, I, I don't should. think you'd have got that same lovely look with the more muted colors. Mm. No. Yeah. And what color is your cables going to be, Sue? In the lighter green color. Pale green, the sage. The pale yeah, green, the sage. sage. 
Okay. I think he's going to twist something through these. Yeah. Yes. Maybe those long, long strip ties are going to. <laughs> yes. um, the long strips are going to get woven through the thing, you know. In a kitchen know. stitch in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> but see, it's, it's really looking, it's really looking beautiful. And such a lovely, yeah, such lovely colors. Mm. What, what I'm finding is that it's um, it feels really nice to knit with this proper this proper sock. Yeah, so good. It feels really nice and squishy, squishy and warm. Oh, good. So, yeah, it's going to be a masterpiece. It's already a mm -hmm. masterpiece. Yes, <laughs> really beautiful. Absolutely. Well done. Well, Sammy is going to start getting into the groove of this, Sue, and be going, okay, mom, when's that crazy project you're going to do? And what's <laughs> happening? And how does it look? And yeah, she'll <laughs> have all of these masterpieces that you make every year. My granddaughters are coming for the weekend. So they're the ones who get, you know, I can really wow them. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. That's worth it. That sounds amazing. No, keep going. It's looking great. I, I think you need to um, you need to share a picture of the that little pop of orange on our mm. WhatsApp group, so yeah. that uh, um, Rosangela can see as well how it's how it's showing up. It looks amazing. Of all the ones that I've seen, all the color combos I've seen, Sue's is actually the one that I'd be like, I actually <laughs> wear that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the orange. Fantastic. The yeah. green. Very yeah, pretty. Amazing. Well done, everyone. And when I went up, had to pop into town over during the week. And I'm not a person who buys depending on the colors of the season. But I just looked and the colors of season are kind of emerald and orange. <laughs> <laughs> You're so on trend, Sue. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so on trend. Oh, amazing. I think they look very cool. Mm. Yeah, very pretty. Um, so any other thoughts or comments on twists and turns? Good luck. <laughs> I'm excited again. <laughs> Good. I'm so pleased to hear that because I was last week, I was like, oh, it's terrible that you girls are working so hard and you were having doubts about, you know, how things are going. But I'm happy that we've turned for the better. Twisted and turned. We turned the twist turn. I've got yeah. my mojo back with it as well. So Good. I Good. think Good. I've realized Good. that, you know, I think I'm kind of much more relaxed now that there's no rush to finish it either. Yes. Yes. Mm. I can just um, knit at your own pace yeah. and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. I Good. am still putting pressure on myself to try and finish it by yeah. next week, Thursday. But we'll take go. it slowly. Silly girl. You should have no, it's just under pressure. Personal challenge. no, you go for it. We we are cheering you on, Lauren. Thank you. Yeah, at least one, one of us must finish on time. I'm excited to get started on. <laughs> and what's your next project? Okay, hold on. Before we go on to next projects, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit stop on the recording. Hold on, give me one second. Um, stop recording. <laughs>